it's Catherine and today as you can see I did this makeup look and if you read the title which I'm sure you did because why would you click on this video if you didn't read the title I am starting a musical series so basically I'm gonna be taking a bunch of musicals and just getting inspired by the movie poster, the movie itself, like I'm gonna create a mood board, my little mood board for Moulin Rouge and if you didn't know, Moulin Rouge is one of my favorite movies, it's in my top three and I actually want to get a tattoo inspired by the movie, I wanted to say come what may and if you didn't watch the movie, that's one of their like core songs that they have in the movie but you should really watch the movie, it's a really good movie. But I feel like it's kind of a love-hate thing, like some people love it, some people are like, what is this? So anyways, if you watched the movie, let me know what you think of it down below and if you didn't watch the movie, go watch it. Hey, open the Go watch it and then come back and comment on this video and tell me your thoughts and all that jazz. And I think that's about it, so if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then keep on watching. Alright, so I'm taking the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition palette and the first color I'm going in with is Sandalwood and just using that as a transition with this big fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. Next I'm going in with Man Eater and using that with a kind of denser fluffy brush and just packing that on in the outer corner and then I'm gonna slowly and lightly blend it into my crease. The one thing I noticed with these shadows is that all the red colors like to turn a bit pinky purple so I was trying to go for a red look but they ended up turning like a more burgundy toward purple color. And now I'm taking this denser brush and going in on my inner corner to create the halo effect so I'm packing it in the inner corner and then putting it into the crease and then I'm going in again with the same brush that I use with my transition and just blending that out. Next I'm going in with a darker color Bossy and just packing that on right at my lash line on the inner and outer corner of my eye and lightly blending that into the crease to kind of start shaping the cut crease, kind of. <laughs> Next I'm going in with black truffle and just taking a packing brush and putting that right at the outer part of my eye right next to my lash line. And what I'm doing is just packing it on first and then I'm going to take the same brush that I used with the color Bossy and blending that out. I didn't want to put too much black because I didn't want the whole eye look to be black so I just put a little bit just to add some dimension and to follow along the theme. Then I'm going in with fling and taking a flat brush and packing that on right where the outer and inner shadows start, stop, I don't know. Then I'm going in with Moondust with a packing brush and just packing that on right in the middle. Next I'm going back in with the same brush that I used for the transition and just blending that out once again. Now I'm going in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Glitter Liner. I don't know the shade but I'll have it listed down below. And this was really hard. This is the first time I was using this so I was trying to be very precise but also stay in the camera in the shot. But now I'm going in with my ABH highlighter and just putting that under my brown bone. And now I'm going in with the IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Eyeliner and putting that in my waterline. Now I'm curling my lashes and adding mascara and I think I took the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara just to make my eyelashes fluttery. Now I'm going in with this Urban Decay Vitamin Spray and the Hard Candy, whoa 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 this was so fast, the Hard Candy Primer Mist and then the Smashbox Primer. If I miss something, I'm going to list it down below anyway, so just check that out. So I'm just applying the primer. Now I'm going in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealer and Foundation and just applying that to my face. This is the first time I was using it and I actually really like it. Then 
Then I'm taking my trusty Tarte Shape Tape and applying that to brighten the parts of my face. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Now to set it, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder in the lightest one and just setting wherever I put my concealer. I'm not really baking, I think I just left a bit of powder under my eyes but then the rest I just set it. Then I'm taking my ABH Cream Contour Kit and using the lightest cool toned contour and applying that and then I'm going to buff it out right after. I don't really cream contour unless I'm doing a really full face glam look. Next I'm taking my e.l.f. contour palette and just using the cool tone to set wherever I put the cream contour. Now I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and smoothing out any of the leftover powder that I had and blending everything together. Now I took the butter bronzer to bronze up my face. I love this bronzer, it gives me such a natural glow especially on my fair skin. And I'm taking this Tarte blush, I think it's in Party, like with three A's. Anyways, I'll have it down below. I love this color. It's a perfect neutral pink color. Then once again, I'm taking the ABH highlighter and just highlighting my face. And my nose. <laughs> oh, my nose is on my face, so yeah, highlighting my face. Now I'm going back into the Huda Beauty palette and going in with Man Eater under the lower lash line just to tie the look together. And then I'm taking this little fluffy bl blush, whoa, brush, and just blending that out. I'm going in with 24K and just packing that on my inner corner to add a little bit more of a touch of gold because the moon dust is kind of like a lighter gold. Then I'm going in with this Annabelle lip liner in buff and lining my lips. For lipstick, I'm taking this Smashbox lipstick uh, in this nude shade. I don't know the exact name. Once again, it'll be down below. And finally setting my face with the Hard Candy Longwear Setting Spray and that's it!